Hi, my name's Jess, and here I'm going to show you how to get the perfect print and cut every single time with your Silhouette Cameo machine. I'm using a Silhouette Cameo 4, and I've got the business edition of Silhouette Studio. Here I've got some simple stickers that I'm going to cut out for my daughter. The sticker sheet I'm using is US letter size, so in media, I'm going to select letter. Now I'm going to go over to the registration panel and I'm going to turn on the registration marks. As you can see on the screen, the frog is within the hatched area. Let's move the frog out of the way. On the right side, the unicorn is also in the hatched area. So we're just going to also move it out of the way. At the bottom, the butterfly is in the hatched area, so we're just going to move it up. Now what I want to do is look at the stickers within the print area, which is the red rectangle around the page. Here you can see the clouds and princess are overlapping the print area. So what I'm going to do is actually make my registration mark insert smaller to one centimeter, which will give me more space within the page and less paper wastage. If you want to keep it bigger, you can just move the stickers closer together. Now that I like the way my page is set up, we're ready to print it. Before I print, I like to go into my print settings. Every printer is different, but for this particular printer, I like to have it on borderless printing. I like to have my media on photo paper plus glossy. And the most important thing is checking that the page size matches the matte size that I've used in Silhouette Studio. I also like my print quality to be set to high. Now that I've checked my settings, we're ready to print. For this project, I'm using glossy white HGV Ron sticker paper and a really cheap printer that I picked up 10 years ago for about $40. You don't need to have a good printer to do stickers. Another great tip for getting the perfect print and cut is using a coloured mat and not silhouette see-through ones. I feel that the sensor is able to read the registration marks more clearly when using a coloured mat. Next, what I'm gonna do is line the sticker paper up against the mat so that it's nice and straight and just use a squeegee to place it down so that I'm not getting any fingerprints on it. My mat is a bit old, so I'm just gonna add some sticky tape to help support it so that it doesn't slip. Now, before I turn on the silhouette, what I like to do, especially if I haven't used it in a while, is just calibrate it. Here, I'm just gonna move the housing right to left a couple of times and then place it all the way to the right and then turn on the machine, which will bring the housing to the perfect place to start. Next, I just wanna make sure that everything is secure and in place and that the cartridge is sitting where it needs to be. I'm going to use the guideline on the machine to line up my mat and hold it there. Now I'm going to feed it in. Now here is the important part. What we want to be looking at is that the sensor goes right on top of the black mark and goes right in the middle of these lines, right in the middle where my finger is. During the registration, if you notice that the sensor does not go over these lines perfectly, then just pause the cut, cancel it, and restart it. My secret tip is to lift the mat up while it's registering. You can just place your hand gently underneath. Now I'm just going to slow this bit down. It was a little bit hard to film at the same time, but if you look carefully, the sensor is going right in the middle of the lines. 
exactly over the top of it. If you notice at this point that they don't look like it's right in the middle, pause it and start again. This is going to save you doing a cut that is off center. Now, because I've followed all the steps that I've outlined in this video, I'm confident this is going to cut exactly where I want it to. And here we have it, perfect lines around our images, the perfect cut. I just want to note that this was glossy sticker paper. I've had no issues using a small inset for the registration marks, and I've also had no problems with the sensor reading it. I hope these tips help you with your print and cut. And if you have any other questions, please drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.